Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, the 10th of August, was a busy day for Microsoft. And they've also released a new Windows 10 version 22H2 optional update for insiders in the release preview channel, which is now also in its final stages of testing before it becomes available for the stable channel. And as mentioned, we can expect that to start rolling out in the fourth week of this month, August 2023. Now, the next optional bug fix update will be KB5029331. And over and above, including a couple of a good couple of bug fixes, actually, there are two new features. Now, these aren't really standout features, but Microsoft does list them as new. And um, the first is that the update improves how Windows detects your location. Apparently, this is going to help to give you better weather news and traffic information. So that also rolled out for Windows 11 21H2. And because the two OSs are very similar, it has now also been made available for Windows 10 22H2. So better location coming in the next optional bug fix update. And then um, the update also expands the rollout of notification badging for Microsoft accounts on the start menu. Now, apparently Microsoft says that this will give you quick access to important account-related notifications. So those are the two features rolling out with our next optional bug fix update for Windows 10 version 22H2. Now, um, if you do want to hang around, um, because this is a bug and quality fix update, just to mention and go through some of the bug fixes we can expect to see roll out, although this could be subject to change because obviously this update is still in preview. Now, the first is that it makes daylight saving time changes for Israel. Um, there's also a window rendering issue that's been addressed where the window might render with wrong dimensions or at the wrong position. Apparently, this was occurring when you scale the display screen. There's a printing fix, which is common to roll out with bug fixes. There was an issue that affects print jobs that were sent to a virtual print queue. Apparently, they were failing without an error. So that's a print issue that's been addressed. And this also rolled out, this fix also rolled out for Windows 11 22H2, where the update addresses an issue that affects disk partitions. Apparently, the system might stop working. And this occurs after you delete a disk partition and add the space from the deleted partition to an existing BitLocker partition. So that's all to do with BitLocker, where um, it does address an issue that affects those disk partitions in Windows 10 22H2. Uh, moving on, and this is our third last mention for today's video, the, uh, this update addresses an issue that affects remote desktop sessions. Apparently they were disconnecting when multiple apps were in use. And then the final two, uh, the update addresses an issue that affects the display of the search box. So that's a bit of a UR improvement that's rolling out. And then the update, if we just head over quickly to our accounts page and our sync your settings. This also rolled out for Windows 11 22H2. The update addresses an issue that affects settings. They do not sync even if you turn on the toggle on the Windows backup page in the settings app. So that's a bit of a settings backup um, sync issue that's been addressed for both Windows 11 and Windows 10 22H2. And um, if you do decide to install the update, because it will be optional, uh, if we just head over to our Winver about Windows. Currently, the stable version of Windows 10, the OS build, is currently on 19045.3324. And if you do decide the, to install the update, that point release will be bumped up to 0.3391 or somewhere in that vicinity. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.